Hey everybody. So I'm sitting here spending the day like I always do, editing videos and dreaming of becoming a race car driver. And I think it's just given me an idea for a new budget video series. Some of you may or may not know I ice race during the winter through the BMW Car Club of America. It's a cool low pressure event with one car racing at a time and the best time wins. It's really cool because not only do you get to race against other BMW drivers, but racers from all types and makes and models. And even though it's relatively safe, it's still really fast and a lot of fun. The bad thing for me is, the wagon's my daily driver. You're still running the risk of breaking something or even crashing and not being able to get to work on Monday. So for my next project, I think I'm gonna set out to build a unique BMW, something I can register, race, drive on the street, and most likely crash at some early point in my career because let's face it, I'm no Fernando Reese. Everybody likes budget builds, right? So I'm going to set out to see if I can find, build, and race a BMW for under 900 bucks. So we're looking for the cheapest BMW we can find, preferably an E36. I think our best bet is going to be Craigslist. And the only cars I see here are above $2,000. I'm going to go ahead and type in $400 and see if there's anything else aside from tires for sale. So after about a week, I got this peach in my inbox. I saw one photo of a smashed up hood and a lopsided bumper and the ad read the best. It says the car needs to be gone today or it's going to the crusher. I just want this thing out of my yard. And the most exciting info it says the car starts but it sounds like a tank. Uh, if we can be optimistic at least we know the car runs right? So I just got off the phone with the owner and great news the car was free. Uh, like I said, the owner just wanted to get rid of this thing, so I'm going to have somebody swing down, pick it up on a flatbed, and bring it back to the house. So let's jump online and see what we just bought. I looked up the last few digits of the VIN, and the good news is, it's in fact a 325 with an M50 motor. Another bonus I see is this thing is an automatic with a production date of January 94. What that means is it's the last few months where you could have the optional locking rear diff. After that, only M cars had it. If we compare this thing with a 5-speed manual swap, this car's going to be quick. I've heard that you can do burnouts in second gear, leaving two strips of rubber and not just one. So if we need to swap in a 5-speed and stay on budget, it means it's time to check Craigslist. And I just found an ad for a complete swap, and the owner said every nut and bolt is included in the kit. So let's pack the wagon, hit the road, and go pick this thing up. With a 5-speed swap back at home, we had a chance to check everything over, and the seller wasn't lying. Every nut and bolt we need from this swap, it's all here, and it's all brand new. We tallied everything up, and it's almost $2,000 worth of parts. We only paid 400 bucks. Make sure to check back on Friday for the next episode to find out if I can bribe some of my friends with homemade t-shirts, and answer the question, what does a free BMW look like anyway? Please like and subscribe and comment below for your chance to win a crew t-shirt. Thanks for watching.